The surprise comes from inside the holes. A geyser is a natural fountain that shoots super hot water and steam way up into the sky. But why does the hot water shoot out of the holes? Good question, Tiny. Why do you think the water shoots out? Hmm. Maybe the water is like me. It just likes to jump out of holes and surprise everyone. Hmm. Interesting hypothesis, Dawn. <laughs> now take a gander at this. The inside of the Earth is so hot it even melts rock. And when the melted rock called magma gets close to the surface, it warms up the water that's under the ground. When that underground water gets really hot, the pressure grows and grows until the superheated water explodes up into the air through holes and cracks. That's what we call a geyser. They shoot way up in the air. Some go over a hundred feet high. Wow! <laughs> Hanging out here waiting for Old Reliable to erupt. Old Reliable? Yeah, it goes off pretty often. Several times a day, too. I mean, it's not like you can tell the time by it. But it's pretty reliable. That's why they call it Old Reliable. Ooh, so when's it gonna erupt? Well, you just have to wait and be patient. Actually, the waiting is almost the best part, right? Just being here now. Being here now. I can do that. Look at me. I'm being here now. So when's it going to erupt? You just have to be patient, Shiny. We're being here later. Wait, that's not right. We're... Oh, here they are, the pools. Oh, they're beautiful. And what a lovely spot. But how do we know if the water's too hot? You just dip your toe in very carefully, like this. Too hot. N not this one. Hmm. Uh, no, too cold. Hmm. Ah! Lorraine, I found one that's perfect. Oh, wonderful. Let's hop in. Ah! It's heavenly. Must be hearing things. <sighs> Just rest my eyes for a minute. Gotta stay on schedule. which is a small underground pool of hot, molten rock. But it looks too goofy to be rock. Well, Dawn, it's rock that's so hot that it's melted into a liquid. It's the same stuff that comes out of volcanoes. Whoa! You kids ready? Take a couple of those minerals and throw them into the pool of magma. Whoa! The, the minerals, minerals are melting! That is so cool. Actually, it's more hot, but cool. You know, now what? Yeah, when does it become rock? Well, we'd have to wait millions of years for it to cool. Any way we can speed that up to like eight or nine seconds? No, but we can do this. This rock was formed by that magma and all the same minerals that you kids found. It's called granite. Granite, cool. Yep. Cool magma, to be exact. And it has feldspar, quartz, and mica. Huh, mica. I like it. So first, all those minerals melt into the magma, and then when the magma cools, it makes a rock called granite? Correct, Shiny. Huh. I wonder if the kids had any luck finding a mineral harder than topaz. My mineral! Is it broke? Shiny? 
Is this yours? Do you know what this is? The shiniest mineral I've ever seen. Yes, it's a diamond, the hardest mineral in the world. Why, with that diamond attached to the front of the drill, we'd be able to dig through anything. Oh, so we can continue our search for the perfect spot for the dinosaur train underground station. Yes, onward to the center of the Earth. Uh, well, Dawn, if we dig any deeper, we'll get closer to the mantle and then the core. All right, let's go. Mantle, core. Uh, Dawn, the mantle is really hot, and the core is even hotter. As hot as the surface of the sun. Oh, onward to the surface of the Earth. All right, let me go put this diamond on the front and we can get... Ca yes, Shiny? <laughs> Well, Shiny, I think that's an excellent idea. What she say? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Shiny's great idea and welcome you to the future location of the Dinosaur Train Underground Station. <laughs> My guess is you're going to see our local volcano, Old Smokey, the one we can see from this very train. That's the one. Right, Dad? <laughs> that's right, Tiny. I was telling the kids that old Smokey's been smoking more than usual lately. Good observation. I've noticed that too, Mr. Pteranodon. I think more than smoke is gonna come out of old Smokey, and very soon. What does come out of a volcano? Why does anything come out of a volcano? Excellent questions. You see, deep under the surface of the Earth, it's really, really hot. So hot that it melts rocks? Exactly, and the heat pushes those melted rocks, called lava, up, up, until they erupt out of the top of the volcano. Huzzah! Erupt? Yep, erupt means to shoot up and out. Like when the lava blasts out of the volcano, it erupts. <laughs> <coughs> well, your dad is uh, one smart pteranodon. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've traveled this train line every day past Old Smokey, and for years it's just made smoke. But I think it's about to erupt, and today could be the day. <gasps> Ooh, I hope we get to see it erupt. It could happen, Tiny. We could get lucky, and Old Smokey might show us more than smoke. We want lava! We, we want lava! Well, we brush my lava. paws and trim my claws. There's Old Smokey now. Whoa. <laughs> Next up, Volcano Valley! Volcano Valley Station, folks! There's the path up to the Volcano Valley viewing point, folks. Thanks, Thanks Mr. Mr. Conductor. Conductor. It's amazing. Buddy, did you feel the earth shake too? Yeah. We all did, Don. And look. Wow. It's making more smoke than ever. There's a rumbling noise. The ground is shaking. The volcano is looking hotter and hotter. Old smoke, it looks like it really wants to erupt. Look. It's... It's, 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 it's erupting! Whoa! Ah! It's spectacular! Yeah, the most amazing thing I've ever seen! Bless my scales and feathers! What a magnificent sight! The best volcano ever! Let's hear it for the volcano! 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 Dinosaur train. Once upon a time there was a mom Her name was Mrs. Pteranodon Sitting on her nest she heard a scratching and said Oh boy, my eggs are hatching! One by one her kids popped 